good morning dear students today we are going to start our next class of activity let us see the activity this activity is based on the multiplication concept in this activity one multiplication table we have in which alphabets or letters are multiplied to get some product and what we have to do is yes we have to find out the values of these alphabets or these letters the values of these letters or alphabets are hidden in this box so let us see the activity aim of the activity is in the multiplication problems given below each letter represents different numbers so this is these are the multiplication problems given in the table okay so alphabets are multiplied here all the numbers used in the problem can be found in the box given below so this is the box given below okay below this aim so this is the box in which values are hidden in this box or the values are given in this box is it okay so let us start the activity of how to find out the values of these alphabets now i will explain you for that let us consider the first multiplication problem which is 800 into b okay so 800 into b is equal to 64000 this is given and we want to find out the value of b so how will you find out the value of b first of all let us find out the number of zeros in the product how many number of zeros are in the product number of zeros in the product are 3 so in the multiplication and multiplier that means the numbers which we are multiplying to get the product we want the the number of zeros okay so here as there are three number of zeros out of these three number of zeros already two number of zeros are present in the multiplicand that means only we have to adjust one more zero and that one more zero we will write down in the value of b okay so here i have written zero here okay so zero and this zero that means in the numbers which we are multiplying already we have adjusted the number of zeros according to the number of zeros in the product okay so three number of zeros are in the product and we are having three number of zeros in the numbers which we are multiplying okay together they are so now only we have to find out how to get this 64 which is the number in the product okay so it is 64000 so these 3000 these three number of zeros already we have adjusted let us see 64 how to get 64 let us consider the number in the multiplication which is a number other than 0 in the multiplication yes it is 8 so 8 okay so what we have to do is here 8 into some number is equal to 64 so Well, what is eight into is equal to sixty four? What is this fill in the blanks? Yes, it is. It will be eight. So eight into eight is equal to sixty four. Therefore, in the value of b, we have I have written eight. Okay. So eight hundred into eighty. So three zeros already we have adjusted. Now eight into eight is sixty four. That means the value of b is eighty. I am repeating this for some. So 800 into b is equal to 64,000. First of all, try to adjust the number of zeros according to the number of zeros in the product. As there are three number of zeros in the product, we should get these three number of zeros from the numbers which we are multiplying. Okay, not from the single number which we are multiplying first, but the numbers which we are multiplying from those two numbers we can get the num these number of zeros. So 800 is the given number. it is a multiplication already two zeros are there that means the one zero which is left will be in the value of b so here i have written zero now 64 64 we want in the product here 8 is in the multiplication so 8 into some number we should get 64 so which is that some number 8 into which number is 8 into 8 will be 64 that's why the value of b is 80 okay so in this way you will solve the sums 
and you will get the values of these alphabets. See here, this AP is already present, so you can cancel it in this. Now, the second multiplication problem is I into A is equal to 1,20,000. In this, both the alphabets are present, they are multiplied to get the given product. Now, I is also unknown and A is also unknown to us. So, or before finding one of value of one alphabet out of two alphabets, we cannot find out the value of other alphabet. So, out of two alphabets, we should know at least the value of one alphabet. Okay, so right now we are not able to solve this second problem. In the same way, the third which is D into J is equal to 36,000 also cannot be solved. Now let us see the fourth one. H into B is equal to 40,000. H into B. Okay. So already we have found the value of B. So here you will write down the value of B. So you will get H into AP is equal to 40,000. Now you will be able to find out the value of H. Yes, it is very easy. We know that 8 fives of 40. So here this 40 is uh, present in the product. So, 80 is the value of B. Okay. H into B is equal to 40,000. Into B that is dash into B is equal to 40,000. Okay. Here, we can get the number first. And then also we can get the number of zeros. Okay. In that way also I am explaining. So here 80. So 8 is the number in the multiplier. Now let us find out 8 into which number will give you 40. The 40 is the number present in the product. Okay. So 8 into which number is equal to 40? Yes. 8 fives are 40. So 5 will be there. 8 into 5 is equal to 40. So, we have already obtained this. Now, what is to be obtained? These three number of zeros are to be obtained. Out of these three number of zeros, one zero is already present in the value of B that is 80. Okay? The number of zeros which are present in the product always we will get from the numbers which we are multiplying. Okay? So, out of these three number of zeros. Why I am not considering this zero which is along with four? Because 40 actually don't consider only four here. But it is 40,000. So 40 this number already we have obtained by multiplying 8 by 5. This 8 is present in the value of B. Okay. So you will not consider this zero. So, already which we have obtained from the multiplication of 8 into 5. Okay. Now, we have to adjust these three number of zeros. Out of these three number of zero, one is already present in the value of B. So, how many we have to obtain now from the other number? That is the multiplicand Yes, Only these two zeros. That means along with 5, I have to write down two more zeros. So, 500 into 80 is equal to 40,000. Let us check. 5 into 8 is 40. Yes, it is correct. 1, 2, 3. So, there are 3 number of zeros in the, in the numbers which we are multiplying. So, these 3 number of zeros are also present in the product. That means the value which we have found for H is correct. So, the value of H is 500. So, 2 multiplication sums. I have explained you. Now one more I, have, I will explain. Which is the multiplication sum. Yes, that is A into A is equal to 3,60,000. Now, see here. A into A, that means the same alpha, alphabet is multiplied by itself. Okay. It is not two different alphabets are multiplying here. But they have multiplied the same alphabet. Okay, A into A. So, the number is repeated. Correct? As the alphabet is repeated, we have to repeat the number. So, we have to find out two numbers. 
when we will multiply these two same numbers, we should get 36. This 36 is present in the product. Correct? So, which two numbers multiplication will give you? 36. Same numbers. I am saying same numbers. Not 5 into 6 or 5 into 7 or 7 into 2. But if I multiply 7, if I consider number 7, then I should multiply 7 by 7. 7 into 7 is 49. So it is wrong. 5 into 5 is 25. It is wrong. Then 6. Can we try 6? Yes, very good. You know the table. 6 into 6 is 36. So 6 into 6 is 36. Okay. Now what we have to adjust? Only we have to adjust the four number of zeros which are present in the product. So these four number of zeros should be divided equally. As four is even number, it can be divided equally between two numbers here. Yes. So this one zero here, one zero here. So two, then third zero and the fourth zero. So whenever we know that the number which is even can be equally distributed in two equal parts are important. So four number of zeros were there which we have distributed between these two numbers equally. So six, six are 36. So number it is correct and number of zeros two and two. So four number of zeros in the multiplication numbers and which are also present in the product. So the value of A which we have found is correct. So three multiplication sums I have shown you, I explained you with the help of multiplication concept. Okay. So in similarly you will solve remaining multiplication sums to get the values of remaining alphabets. Okay. So 600 you can cancel. Also you can cancel 500 here. Okay. Because we have already got these values for the alphabets B, H and A respectively. Okay. So I want you to solve. Write down this A. Draw these two boxes. And no need to write down these three sums in your copy. Or in your page. Already I have done it. But for the remaining problems you will do the steps in this way. Okay. And this activity I am going to assist. I am going to evaluate. I am going to test for 10 marks for first evaluation. There are two activities which I have to assist. Which I have to test. Okay. Each for 10 marks. So out of those two activities which I am going to check for 10 marks each. This is the first activity. So it is compulsory to do this activity and send it to me within 2-3 to three days. Okay. Let us see the name of the activity. Yes, here the multiplication. But it is the letter multiplication. So name of the activity is letter multiplication. Okay. So letter multiplication is the name of the activity in which letters are multiplied. So we have to find out the values of these letters. So I hope it is very clear now. So please solve this activity and submit it to me to the campus care. Okay. Make the PDF of it and send it through the campus care. I hope it is very clear or you can send it in the maths lab assignment group. Write down your roll number, class and section and your name on the right hand side top corner. This is letter multiplication activity which is to be assessed for 10 marks for first evaluation. So I hope the instructions are very clear. Okay. So please do it and submit. Thank you and have a